What's the word, y'all? Welcome back to NBA Every Day until it's not. I'm gonna give you a little YouTube secret. Uploading on Sundays is never a good idea. So though I say every day, I had to take Sundays off just for the algorithm purposes. I wanna talk about the Philadelphia 76ers, man, because I think what's going on over there is uh, a bit weird, a bit interesting. I'm obviously one of the better teams in Easter Conference. I've been seeing a lot of people do like power rankings or like prediction videos now that like free agency is all but over. The hierarchy usually goes this. There's the Brooklyn Nets all the way up there because as long as the Brooklyn Nets are healthy, they're going to win a championship. Can we agree on that? Maybe. I mean, as long as they're healthy. You know what I'm saying? Last year, they were this close to beating the team that actually won the championship with James Harden being on one leg and Kyrie Irving being out. So I would say they're the, the heavy favorite to win the conference. Then you have the Bucks, obviously still great because they just came off a championship and their core is near attack. They lost PJ and they lost Brent Forrest, but that's cool. Then you got the Miami Heat, who had a disappointing postseason last year and re-upped with bringing in Kyle Lowry, PJ Tucker, and just, just got overall better. And then you got Philly. And Philly was the best team in the regular season, and a lot of people's pick to go all the way. And then they got upset by the Atlanta Hawks. And like in a super dramatic fashion. The Hawks, a lot of people didn't even predict that they were going to make it out of that first round. Then they end up beating the one seed. Losing is not good, but there's no shame in losing. It's the way things happen. And I don't want to solely put it on Ben Simmons because it's a, it's a team collective thing to lose a series. But Ben Simmons was a big part of it he was he's under the magnifying glass right now especially after the last postseason where he's two inches away from dunking the ball but passes it and the person that he passed who gets fouled I think it's Matisse Stiebel Matisse Stiebel misses a free throw he makes the second one and like at the post game thing Joel Embiid was like there was one particular play where, where things went downhill and he, he was referring to the Ben Simmons play teams not guarding him him going out there and not doing anything in the whole fourth quarter just being an offensive liability and as that game is going on I think I even tweeted like we might be seeing the last game of Ben Simmons in a 76er jersey it just felt like the writing was on the wall especially you add Joel Embiid's comments you have um, uh, Doc Rivers comments where somebody asked him can Ben Simmons be a point guard on the championship team Doc Rivers is like shit i don't i don't know bro like like everything was pointing to a ben simmons trade happening so now you got all the rumors Ooh, can bradley beal be on the horizon can damian lillard be on the horizon and what we have found out is Daryl Morey's trying to finesse, basically. If, if we're going to trade Ben Simmons away, we want a young player. We want five, five picks. We want a little bit of this. We want a little bit of that. And no team has given up that type of package for a player who's at an all-time low when it comes to his trade stock. So Ben Simmons decided to try to take care of himself, which I, I understand. Um, he decided not to go to Tokyo to represent Team Australia. And I think Team Australia is still medaled, so shout out to them, their first medal of all time, and when it comes to basketball, at least. He decided that this offseason, I'm going to be in the gym. So so he's in the gym with Rajon Rondo and you know Rondo had turned himself into an okay three-point shooter especially during that championship run with the Lakers and you can see Ben Simmons this offseason putting up jump shots and and hitting them uh-oh he's putting in a lot of work shout out to TD by the way and I've been a Ben Simmons supporter for a very long time when I used to be a part of the NBA network this this is why networks are terrible I, I would recommend all my up-and-coming YouTubers if you can disconnect from a network and become completely independent I recommend it but one of the reasons why I signed to my network this was Ben Simmons's rookie year the NBA the NBA network for YouTubers is because they can give me like discounts or gift cards for the NBA store. And the very first thing I bought was a Ben Simmons shirt. And I might still have, I might still have it. I probably donated it to Goodwill because, you know. So Darren Moore is asking for an arm and leg for Ben Simmons and he's not getting that at the moment. And they say, listen, we're okay with bringing back our guys. We were just the one seed and it was a super dramatic loss in the second round, but we think we can do the same thing. But this man, Ben Simmons, has reportedly cut off communications with the 76ers and is ignoring Joel's calls. Um, not very good. So yeah, you'd be willing to bring him back. But is he willing to come back? I know he will eventually report because it's part of his contract. But it feels like this relationship has run its course. It's at the point of no return. And they're trying to tell us that we're okay with trying to make it happen. And it just... It would blow my mind if Ben Simmons is there for game number one of this regular season. But it probably will happen because, like I said, Daryl Morey wants a ton to make this happen. So Ben Simmons is in the lab um, working out heavily, and then this one just got put out there today. How many point guards got this in the bag at Ben Simmons 25? Eyes emoji, briefcase emoji, details, making live reads, playing off the screens, high crossover into a dunk finish, hashtag just hoops and this is chris johnson who's one of the better trainers in the entire league and this looks 
amazing right but this is like ben simmons kind of things we know ben simmons is good at reading defenses we know ben simmons can dunk the ball but it's kind of funny they're practicing this type of stuff because teams aren't playing low okay let, let's do this one more time one more time one more time through no defender is playing ben simmons going over on screens it doesn't happen teams are not playing ben simmons high because he's not a threat to shoot the jump shot and that's one of the reasons why Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons don't run pick and roll a lot is because he's not that much of a threat. You go wondering, yes, he's a he's a steamroller when he's downhill, but it just it just doesn't work that way. And we've been here before. Ben Simmons becoming a lethal shooter. League not ready. This is from House of Highlights, and this is last season. He did this last season. This is last offseason, ladies and gentlemen. Step back threes. We've been here before where we've seen the offseason stuff of Ben Simmons attempting threes and attempting to shoot the ball. And it, he just doesn't do it in a game. And I'm not necessarily team Ben Simmons got to be a good three-point shooter. I'm team Ben Simmons has to be a threat. Simple. Whether that is shooting the ball, whether that is him in the dunker spot, I don't know what it is. Ben Simmons has to be a threat because as of last season, in this postseason, he was an all-defensive player, second in defensive player of the year. He was an all-star player. But in the crunch time of playoff games, he was a liability on the offensive side of the ball. And because of that, we don't know what's happening with Ben Simmons next. We don't know what teams are actually interested other than the Sacramento Kings because the Toronto Raptors said they not traded Pascal Siakam. So we don't know. When Ben Simmons is aggressive on the offensive side of the ball, it is electric to watch, especially when you think about the defensive side of the ball where he is second in the league in Defensive Player of the Year. He is still a very, very good NBA player, do not get me wrong, but in order for him to be on the team to eventually win it all, he has to evolve his game to the next level. And the last couple years, he's slowly done a little bit of things, but not the leap that we really want him to take. So what's next for Ben Simmons? Your guess is as good as mine. What's next for the 76ers? Your guess is as good as mine, so you let me know.